Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Well, like most of you, I'm sure, we're all uh, cramped inside and gyms are closed and we're falling apart. <laughs> At least I feel like I am. So today's little video is a quick little product review on some Chinese Bowflex adjustable dumbbells knockoffs. How's that for an intro? It's these girls right here. don't even know what they're called. Uh, they got a sticker on that says Triumph with a picture of a bicep. So if you're looking at buying these, uh, I ended up getting these on Kijiji for $380 Canadian for two of them, which is about half off the Bowflex ones. If you're looking at getting a pair of these uh, and you want a quick little five or six minute video, stay tuned. It's coming up. Two point five. I guess those gotta get glued in. <laughs> Alright, I'll show you guys how quick this thing is to dial in now that I've been using them for a little bit. They're really uh they're really pretty smooth. I mean obviously it's brand new, but yeah, they look pretty good. Definitely watch yourself. I guess take your time landing these things, right? You gotta hear the click. So I guess you can have different weights, like you can go 10 here and 9 there for whatever reason, but yeah, they seem to be pretty smooth. I guess they drop in pretty good. I did notice you, you got to make sure they're firmly seated. So I noticed uh, a nice little feature is the bottoms. They've got a little thing so they don't rock. You know what I mean? So they don't roll away on you. So I might put this upright because I don't want to. I don't want to be on YouTube for the wrong reasons, you know. Oh man, this thing's <laughs> gonna die. <laughs> this table might need a couple extra inches of leg welded on. I mean, yeah, I feel pretty confident dropping them like that. the actual dumbbells today and overall I'm impressed uh, they're kind of more sturdier than I thought I would say especially for being half the price of the uh, Bowflex so overall uh, like I would say like I said I am impressed with them I would really watch yourself when it comes to the dropping it says do not drop right on them but you know when you're in the decline position you're gonna you're gonna throw them uh, what I would recommend you do is just try to lay them down flat what I've got are these 40,000 volt rubber blankets that I use from work. These are um, uh, damaged, so they're no good now, but uh, they're a thick rubber, so, you know, kind of absorb a bit of the impact. Try and get yourself something like that. Try not to throw them and let them slide because I could see, like, if you if you did and, and you snapped one of these rings that hold the weights, obviously you'd be, uh, you'd be pretty hooped. So, other than that, I'll leave a link in the description if I can find these models on uh, Amazon or eBay or something like that. I bought these out of the back of a uh, Russian guy's garage on Kijiji. He had about 50 of them, so a wee bit sketchy there. So uh, yeah, I'll try and find a find a uh, link for you guys. And if you uh, want to support the channel, you can click the link there. I might get a kickback. I might not. 
Other than that, we're a uh, Canadian homesteading channel. We do these uh, how-to videos, and every now and then I do like a whole product review thing just, just for fun. Like I said, I bought these myself. They weren't given to me. It's just my honest opinion about them. Maybe check back in about six months after we've thrown them around a little bit, and we'll go from there. Other than that, you have yourself a good weekend, and take care.